Christine Otterland also has a connection to the land in the form of a not so popular rodent. If I see a roadkill, I'll just hit the brakes and turn around and pick him up by the hind foot and he comes home with me. Christine creates birch bark baskets adorned with porcupine quills. People just know that I use them, so they bring them over to my house. You take the hat off, is that what you do? I mean, how do you get them off is what I'm asking. I put on a glove and once you clear a spot in there, right. it's real easy to just get big clumps out. I put them in the pot and some dish soap and boil them for a little while to clean them and then sanitize them. This is a traditional art form around the Great Lakes woodland tribes, Ojibwe, Chippewa. This is from the white birch tree. I take my knife as high as I can reach and I'll slit it, be very careful not to get into the inner part of the tree, just that outer layer. And this is sweet grass, which I use to ornament the edges. I'll sew that bottom part and then wrap the sweet grass around that or put porcupine quills around it like that one. This is a teepee. I make a lot of designs for the Native American church for ceremonial uses. This is a trillium. It grows naturally in our woods. They come out white in the springtime and then they'll turn pink and then before they dye they're purple. I always like to embroider so it came very easily to me. Well, it's lovely work. <laughs> Enjoy your time in Washington. Okay. I am.